Look at this. How nice is this? On the Barton River. So I couldn't help myself today. Work in the office, which is only a kilometre from the Barton River. So I thought we'd have a lap of the Barton River, but we were at shoes. I'm cheating. Oh, look. Can wear shoes sometimes, can't I? It's not going to kill me. I was saying that yesterday. I went for a run and a couple of kilometers I didn't choose, I rolled my ankle. Just a little tweak of the ankle, it's a little bit sore today, but it's all good. The thing is, running barefoot, you never roll your ankle because you know your, your foot can sense yourself itself about to roll over and you can do something about it before it's too late. And it doesn't have the leverage of, of a high stacked shoe. So if you do roll your ankle, you just sort of bend your foot over a bit, it's flexible. Anyway, how's this one day? The end of May. Oop. It's the end of May. It's like 20 degrees, beautifully still. Feels like it's spring. I was almost thinking I should watch out for snakes around here. Because there, there are a lot of snakes. Every summer you see snakes around here. Trying to work out how many laps of this river I've done. There's 10, 10, 12 K loop. You can do various loops, but I was wondering how many laps I've actually done in this place. I was working an hour. I worked in the office five days a week, 48 weeks a year, for like 12 years. And I swear, yeah, it was oh, three to five times a week I would run around the river. Sometimes I do it twice actually. I do a little run at lunch and then another run at after work. So I was thinking, man, add that up. It's got to be over 2,000 times I've run around this place. And then occasionally I do a bit of a track session or, or I go to Eastern Gardens somewhere else. But look at this place. It's such a nice autumn day like today. So good. Couldn't help myself but chuck some shoes on. Thought I'd give my, my feet a rest anyway today. So, yeah. Under the breakwater bridge. I built that. I helped build that thing. Believe it or not. About 10 years ago. 12, no, 13 years ago. Crazy. And then, down in breakwater. Under the old, oh, the train line bridge. Great water bridge. Do a U-turn right here. Back under the bridge again. It's only 3.7 meters high. Tracks get caught under here all the time. Not so much now that the new bridge is up and my well, trucks don't really come in here, but that's half the reason why they built the new bridge. Trucks get crappy, crashing into it. And back under the this bridge that I built. Well, while it's still standing, I built it. If it ever falls down, I had nothing to do with it. Anyway. Um, and then here is the uh, breakwater golf club. Done a lot of barefoot running around here. Heaps of barefoot running. Not, not on a nice day like this because there's too many freaking golfers around but um, when, in the winter when it's rainy it's nice and soft green grass I run around there barefoot it's pretty nice actually something different to run now how fast do I do my runs that's how I watch on today I only wear a watch half the time Normally I know how far I'm going, about how far, so I'm just jogging. Probably doing like, what I reckon, 4.15 pace right now. It's a decent little jog. Pretty easy on the road though. I hate running past this section. It's good there's no one there today, but normally they're teeing off right there. And all i got these little tiny fences. And you just think you're going to cop a golf ball in the face. It's just going to kill you. Alright, just going to jump off track for a while. My uh, my regular toilet stop. Every so every run after like the first 20 minutes, I'm busting into a wee 
I think it's probably because I have my coffee and a fair bit of water before I run and then after 20 minutes of running I just need to stop so just bear with me. Alright, feeling better now, now that that's done, it's a little bit, see how we go, but probably end up in doing like a 4 minute K pace by the end, just not, not trying to, just start rolling once I warm up, how good is this place? Alright, back on the road now. Always find and try, try and find paths off the side of the road. We're we'll just running the side of it, it's nice and flat. Just like keeping off the road, save the cars. Probably picking up a little bit now. Just doing, yeah, four minute K pace. Still relaxed, so you can hear I can talk, alright, but it's pretty easy on a day like this. No wind, sun's out. The air's still cool ish. But I think it's meant to be 20 degrees today, so. It's almost, it's almost tops off weather, isn't it? Nearly. Cool little cycling criterium track. It's pretty cool. I've had a few, oh, I've had at least one race around here. I've had a relay race around here. I think it's about 2k or so around. It's a bit fun. It's a nice grass section off to the side here. I've done a lot of barefoot running around. It's like a few ovals to put together. It's really nice grass. I feel like just kicking the shoes off now and hacking it going for a bit of a few k's. What do you reckon? Maybe I will. Oh, no, I've, I've done half barefoot running this week. Wait till tomorrow. Yeah. Great. I love these expansive green grass sections. It's just like you just do like 300 meter reps in a straight line. All you can do, you know. It's probably almost be close to a kilometre around probably. All that. So yeah. Love it. Footy oval up there. See the lights? It's not far away. Yeah, the grass here is so good. This time of year. It's nice and green without being too muddy. It's perfect for for doing some barefoot strides or whatever. Look at that. This is a really nice section, pretty much straight, except one little bend in it. One kilometer, one kilometer reps. Are you still along here? So it's pretty good. Really nice and flat. Other than that, just that little bend just up there. It's fast. But I'm just jogging today, so turn off into the park. Nice little gravel path here. Just a bit easier on the legs, since I'm just jogging anyway. How good is this? Ballyang Sanctuary. My day out today. So nice. Heaps of ducks and a few ponds and lakes around. So yeah, just an easy jog today. Um, I did a little session yesterday. Did like mostly barefoot, 5k warm up, some drills, stretches, and strides. Uh, and then just four by 400, just around the grass oval, barefoot. First sort of session I've done barefoot, so actually was worried how I might pull up my car's Achilles. Feeling good today though, but just being cautious. So uh, yeah, just running, running the shoes today. Nice opportunity to run a place where I used to run nearly every day. Such a nice location. It's great where I live at home too, but the office is in a great location, Barn River, um, got the John Landy athletics, athletics track, that's where I park my car just nearby, so sometimes I might end up doing some strides, I did that last week, did a few strides at the end, did a few 200s, a couple in my vapor flies and a, a couple of strides and a 200 in my well, first time, I think, since I bought them a couple of years ago, first time in my new dragonfly spikes so I'm thinking if I do do a cross country I'll chuck the dragonflies on see how they go they felt good actually I don't even have I didn't even have spikes in them I haven't even got around to putting actual spikes in, in the soles yet but still felt good but I think they might feel a bit better a bit more grippier and sit on top of the track better with some spikes but just enjoying the run today it's a cracker. How cool is this place? What is it? 
Does anyone know? Anyway, it looks cool. Going back into the bush. Now nah, it's just another little, I don't know what it is, little park, water, water area. Nice little park land near the river. I like finding all these little off the beaten track little paths. Although this is pretty man made, this one, but it's always nice on your feet. Trying to some softer stuff. Even I am more of a cross country mountain runner. I like getting off the, off the road, off the footpath. But yeah, just showing you what I run. I'm starting to do about once a week now, but Ryan, I used to do three, four, five times a week. I obviously do sessions around here too, so I'd, whether it be K rep, say eight by three minutes on, one minute off. Try and hit a, you know, close to a kilometer in those three minute reps when I was fit. Um, what is the yeah, threshold? This is say, this is a good 10 kilometer loop, so jog to tr track a kilometer and then um, and then pretty much straight into it. Sometimes I'll, I'll stretch and do some drills and strides, sometimes I'll just do a kilometer and then just start picking it up from there um, and just get faster each day, get back on the track, try and say so about 10k around the river. Back in the track with 11k of my threshold and just try and nail sub three minute. I think I got, and just in my, my Pegasus or Zoom Elites or whatever I was wearing at the time, not, not, no, no track shoes or no flats. Um, I think the best I did was a straight into it, jump on this track with no rest at all. So I do like a three, the last k, or well, it might be a three minute, a 310, jump on the track and just destroy a 1k rep. And I think I got down to three, no, 252 was my best. I was doing a threshold, I was down the road, probably, but if I'm just doing a jog, off to the, the little goat track. And it's just right on the river. I do a lot of rowing on this river too, so in the summer, and race the rowers, so it's good to beat them. <laughs> and over another very little bridge. How many bridges I've been under or over today? There's quite a lot around here. I guess there's a river, and I'm doing a, a loop, so I'm going under all the bridges twice, I guess, because I'm doing a full loop of the ri river. And any, any opportunity to run on some nice grass, do a little hill. I'll take it under another bridge and past the boat sheds. Never been into Rome, but some nice facilities here. And back to the track. Unfortunately, there's a school carnival today, which there are is nearly every day, so no strides on the track today. But something I need to do a bit more of is it's more stretching, um, get older, the more just jogging I do. I sort of forget to do the stretching and then I forget to do the drills and the strides so it's getting tighter and tighter so a bit of a stretch after a run. Maybe a few drills, a few strides at least a few times a week. Just help me um, get going. Sometimes I get like I've had, had like a tight groin and like hip flexor and hammy a little bit. Then I feel I've worked out like so I just keep jogging here until it's better but it never gets better. So um what I've been doing is starting to do a few strides at the end of my runs. And it's actually just loosened it up. I think, I'm thinking it's going to tear it or something, but in the end, it just loosens it up. And um, yeah, a bit of stretching, those drills and things, it all helps. Just keep the full range of motion in the legs, the hips. Um, yeah. So that's my, how far was it? 10, 10K around the river today, 10 or 11K. Might do a few strides, we'll see. See you in the next one.